Well yeah, played. that was 1-1, one, one, you know. One I, one. Well played. <laughs> Thank Play you. Play Oh, you're a good player. Thank you. Well played. Well played. That was well played. You have me there. Yeah, thank you. I had to find a, a comeback from that one. Take care. Turn there, Rigamarole. <laughs> 
Well played. Wow. Right on. <laughs> okay. Well played. Yeah, thank you. I thought I had you there. Yeah. Hey guys, Brian here. What a wild end game between these two men. And I think that Bob was just trying to flag Eric and kind of blundered here at the end. And Eric had, what, a couple seconds left. And this was so crazy. There was so much psychological stuff going on. I mean, when's the last time you saw Bob on the defense, right? He was kind of playing defense most of the game. And Eric was winning the one game, hung his queen here, and... For most of the games, when people are uh, winning a one game, they'll lose the game. But but Eric came back from that. He was winning, he was losing, and then he was winning again. So that is very, very impressive. That's not often you see that. So 
And um, and again, like I think Bob was trying to flag Eric, and I think when you do that, you kind of it's easy to make blunders. But uh, wow, what a wild roller coaster game between these two. Next, he's done Eric for closing it out, and we're gonna go over the analysis. Yeah, there was a couple of kind of missed lines, but very very hard to see in the in those unorthodox positions. And I think Bob here, if he just uh, played something like King here, it would have been um would have been all right, and maybe uh, Eric would have lost on time. But who knows what'll happen? But yeah. That was the way out for Bob, but hard to see when you're the one playing. But let's go here and how um, Eric could have closed out the game. And in this position, we had Queen G7 check, and we saw what happened. So will be another move for White here. Yes, Queen G8 check. And if King F6, then check and mate. And going back here, it doesn't matter if he goes on the H5, it's going to get mated here, here, either way. So that would have been the way to go. But again, hardest game to win is the one game. He was mate in three, and he hung the queen. That's uh, ooh, that's rough. That That is human nature, though. And here in this position in the game, d4 was played. Let's go move back. Will be another move for white here. Yes, queen d5 check, and you pick up the rook. And going over here, there were a couple of instances where this uh, tactic was available in the game Queen E8 was played. Let's go move back. Will be another move for White here. Yes, Rook E5. Take advantage of the pin. Cannot take because Queen pinning the pawn against the King. And you're just going to, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be all she wrote. But wow, what a wild roller coaster game between these two. And just goes to show you, right? That, that a pawn was the hero of the game. Hardest game to win is a one game, but I think an even harder game to win is a, a one game that you lost, but you still won at the end. So <laughs> that, that is crazy, but a beautiful game played by both and clutch, clutch win by uh, Eric there. Nicely done, Electric Eric. Great fight, Bob. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.